guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me once again. As enjoyed my drugstore um, tutorial so much, I decided to grab some more products. Anyway, let's get to this. I kind of ran across this by complete accident. I was in uh, Walgreens and um, I had done that that last video on the um, on the drugstore products, and I saw you guys really enjoyed that. And I know it is so difficult to um, to afford makeup now, and even I'll tell you, even in the drugstore, it was real crazy. But um, I think this these products have been redone. This is the Revlon Photo Ready, and I picked this up thinking this was the foundation and this was the primer. This is the primer. This is the foundation. Go figure. Okay, this is a pore reducing primer. And um, it says apply to clean skin. You can apply this alone or under makeup. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and show you. It is, it's got kind of a color. I believe this comes in different color. I got 002. Now, I put this just on the back of my hand last night. And then I put foundation over the top and I was shocked. I was really shocked because, and you'll see, even just with putting this, I'm like a primer queen, yes, I put a ton on. I like to make sure, I have very dry skin, so especially if a primer is moisturizing feeling like this is, I kind of go in a little heavy. Now, that is very pretty, actually. I love primers like this that just kind of make your skin look better and kind of even out your tones. Now I'm going to put just a tiny bit extra, yes, I'm an extra, and I want to kind of press it in right in this area because this is the area that tends to, you know, most people get a kind of oily um, T-zone by the end of the day. Mine is opposite. Mine gets very dry. So I always, when I use a primer or it moisturizer or anything, I will press it in to that area. I just like to let it sit for just a minute. They had this little guy. I think it was even on clearance. I think I paid five bucks for this. This is the Sculptor Airbrush Sponge from, and it's Sephora's brand. But I thought this was the coolest shape. You know, it's got kind of a weird shape, but look at that. We're going to try this out today. It's a little stiffer than I tend to like. Let's get into this. Ready? I, I know my videos tend to be longer. I'm sorry. But, you know, in the day and age of all this editing and all this, I don't like to do that. Anyway, this is Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. And this is the color 120. Um, this claims to be a medium buildable coverage no harsh ingredients which caught my eye because i have all this going on right now um antioxidant anti-blue light this is very thick i'm gonna put these tubes because you can kind of squeeze it but i'm and just do a run test i always like to put it on there and just kind of show how long it takes to run start off with a brush I haven't been doing this, but I want to start doing this a little more. It's showing you guys the brush on one side. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to do the brush. I do need to get a new brush. Let's go ahead in with this. And like I said, this is a medium coverage foundation. And if you don't use a brush, let me kind of show you. I dip into the product and then you'll see I come back here and I just kind of work it into the ends of the bristles. When you put it on, you want to be able to see how that's a nice light, nice light. And you don't want to drag because you're going to get smears. I like to kind of pat it in. I don't use concealers, so you'll see I go all the way up underneath my eye. I don't use concealers because no matter what I try, they tend to be too drying. But Honestly, the best way I have found is to kind of dab it on there. I'm really actually liking this foundation. I, I just thought it really made a super huge difference in the appearance of the skin. It is very yellow. I like to take um, foundations that are like this, that are too yellow like this for me, and I like to add 
like luminous type drops and I tend to get the ones that are a little pink makeup how I would do just if I were just running around for the day look at the difference in that it is very pretty it's not super super heavy um, the color could be better um, let's go on this other side. I'm, I'm going to try this new little brush out. I'm going to start with the flat bottom. It really got me intrigued with that shape. I'm not liking how this is going on with that sponge, really, though. I'm just feeling like it's looking very, very splotchy. I found that it was so much easier to blend it in with the, uh, the brush. I think I'm going to go back to the brush now. And I've got that blended out. But I do like, one thing I like to do is take my um, Catrice Cosmetics. This is their, um, what is it, Prime and Fine Dewy Glowing Spray. I'm going to just take a little bit of that and spray it into my Beauty Blender. I like to do this lately because my skin's been so dry. And I just kind of... Oh, that is pretty. It doesn't remove your foundation, but it will help to just kind of set that in a little. A lot of times I'll wet my uh, sponge or even my brush with a setting spray because it just helps to uh, mix with the foundation more than water does. But see how that just, because my under eyes are being so fussy and so dry right now, that's why I did that. You can see it just... The skin is so dry that it's just kind of crumbling up. And anytime I put anything on it, it just grabs it and runs. There we go. All right. Let's see what else we got over here. Uh, I grabbed their Photo Ready, uh, the uh, powder. It just says Photo Ready. And this is in the color 10 Fair Light. Very powdery. You get the little mirror up top. And you get this, this cute little brush. And, I, and the main reason why, you can kind of go in and just... You want to tap it off. It's so hard because it's so tiny. And the reason why I liked it is because I could get in right there. And now it reminds me kind of of my NARS Eda brush. But, I mean, this is not bad. Like, if you if you take it with you in your purse, you know, to kind of, like, touch up stuff. I'm going to use mainly drugstore stuff. I didn't grab a drugstore um, eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to grab my... Um, this is the benefit for slicely my brow. And I'm just gonna just lightly fill in my brows. Now, if you are not used to doing your brows, or you're still trying to learn how to do them, I know everybody tries to do a video on how to show you how to do them, or this or that, but the easiest thing for you to do is get a product like this is how i learned how to do my brows and i got a product more like this one here that's a wider tip so blurry sorry guys this is the um goof proof brow pencil and what i do i'm going to try to get close enough that you can see what i'm doing see i just pull out just a tiny bit and just start here and just lightly, ever so lightly, follow the the way your hairs are. See, now leave the tail alone until the end. Now the end, you want to turn it this way. And just kind of, it's hard to, just kind of use the end. And I mean, ever so lightly. You can add more, but it's so hard to take it off. And always go back and brush through them. Now if you totally mess up. This is your best friend because, let me show you. Okay, say I got too much, see I don't like how that looks, okay? So you take your brush and you just, see how it's lightening it? It's just blending it through the rest of the hairs and just pull. You don't want to do it real hard, but see how that just pulled that all through the other hairs, see? And you can kind of wipe it with your finger at the edge where you got it. Now see, that fixed it. Anytime you feel like you got the product, you didn't get it right where you want it, or you feel like it's too heavy in an area, you just go through with your, your, um, your spoolie. You know, a lot of people, eyebrows are the hardest thing for them to do.
For the longest time, I didn't fool with mine. And the reason being, I just couldn't get it. I just really could not get it. One of the little tricks you want to remember, though, is the, um, you want to be lighter on the inside. The closer you are to your nose, the lighter you go. That's where you want these little wispy, you want these little wispy hairs. So you can kind of run that through. See, I'm running the brush through and just lightening that up. Same thing over here. You just kind of run it through. This really is like your best friend when it comes to that because you can run that product through. You can always add products. So don't worry about going like super, super heavy. I do like to go back and make sure to define at least the underside. And just follow right under your hair. You want to kind of follow that hairline. Now, when you have your eyebrows done, when you have them waxed or plucked or whatever the case may be, it's so much easier to do your brows because it gives you so much of a better outline of what to do. See, right underneath that bottom line of hair and then the top, you want to go just on the lower side, on the, in, on the inside, you want to go on the outside. You want to go just inside that. You can even go a little bit under where your hair is. And then right here, if you feel like you want a little more hair, you just kind of lay the pencil here and just brush up and give yourself these little, little wispies. Now remember, you're not going to get your eyebrows to look identical. They are, you know, if you think you, if you think you want to do that, good luck. Because I have tried, that was my biggest thing when I first started doing my eyebrows, was trying to get them alike. Like right now, this one is darker than the other one. So I'm going to brush that product through. See, I've got this one a little bit darker. I'm just going to brush that product through. Now when you do that, you're blurring your line. You wind up blurring your outside line. So you might want to go back over that. But good enough for now. Okay. Um... As far as drugstore, I have really like been a fan of this product. I've brought this out on my channel several times. This is the Master Contour from Maybelline. And I have used this since I think it came out. God, I'm making myself sound old. But this is the one that has the, it has the contour, the blush, and the highlight. I don't really use these two, the contour or the blush, but I love, I mean, the blush or the highlight. But I love to take this Eda brush. This is the NARS Eda brush. And I like this because you can really, you can really angle it out. And I like that this is not, it's not super cool tone. And it's not super, you know, it's not warm. I can't use warm tones on my face hardly at all. But this is light enough that you can really just kind of work that. But see how that Eda brush just, it fits. For me, it's like the perfect fit right there. And I like to leave the, this part open because that's where I tend to use, use a little blush. I'm not really a big time blush person, but I do use a little bit. See right there. And you can, I like to go a little darker on the outside. And the reason being, it's just really, you're really pulling, see? See how that just pulls those cheeks in because I do have a rounder face and I turn it this way and just blend it. You don't want to ever brush down. You, you brush this way or brush up that way. But I like to brush this way because it just fills in that spot it's so nice. And if you watch where I, I set my product down here. So when I'm brushing this way, it's just kind of blending it. It just blends it perfect for me. Now, I do like to kind of, right here on the center, come from here up like that. And that kind of like, see how that, I want to accentuate that line. When you accentuate this line, you kind of take away from this one a little bit. See right there, go underneath that little cheek. You don't want to come down here. You don't want to ever come right here because you don't want to add to that shadow. If you want to put anything right in right in this this area right here, you would put a highlighter, not a highlighter, but a highlighting color, a, a you know, a, a skin tone color. There we go, and I like to. You want to make sure because you don't want to look like you're wearing a helmet when it comes to, you know, contouring your forehead. 
you know, if you ever notice, you look at somebody and you can see almost a line there. What I do is I go right at my, right at my hairline and work that into my hairline and then kind of just blend that out. Just soften that up. You really want to soften that up. You don't want to make it look like, you know, you just went out in the sun and got a sunburn right there either. You know, because these, these contour and bronzer type colors can really get kind of red on you. Now the other thing is I always go right along here to accentuate my jawline. See the difference where it just, see, it made that look like a shadow right there when it's actually makeup. Now, when you're using colors like this, a lot of us don't really understand what each color is meant for. It's not like when we're a teenager that there's a class saying, oh, this is how you do makeup. No, we all go in the girls' room in school and we grab whoever's got whatever makeup and you just start learning. But the contour and highlighters and whatnot, those are meant to help shape the face and really just get in there and kind of correct what, there's no product on this, I'm just kind of, this is actually, um, this is out of the first Jaclyn Hill set, which is the um, R10 brush. Now, if you guys want to, let me know. I'm still working on this brush video, and the reason being, I told you guys, I kind of slipped up and let you guys know, there's going to be a giveaway in it. It's not a super huge giveaway or anything, but let me know if you guys would like this set compared to the original Jaclyn Hill set, um, because you guys know, I will tell you straight up and I don't know when my recorder stopped, but now we're back. Oh, my phone started ringing and uh, it cut my thing off. But anyway, now to the eyes. Now this is, I don't know if this is necessarily a new set or what. This is the Noir Neutrals 26 Color Shadow Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. Now, BH Cosmetics is kind of a drugstore brand. It's, it's, um, you can find a lot of their stuff in Ulta. I wish some of the drugstores would carry them, but you find them in Ulta or some of those type stores. I know in different parts of the world there are other brands, but these remind me of, like, they remind me so much of the Morphe colors, but this is that there. And it's just kind of a real neutral, just kind of peachy, that's why I liked it. You've got some of these little peach pops in here. Let's see what we can do with this little guy. And I like the fact of you got you got some blush tones here. And I wanted, I was really interested in these two colors right here. This one, I wanted to see if this could be used. And it's too, it's got too much of a pinky tone. If you like more of a warmer kind of contour or darker blush, that would be good for you. Now this one here. That's, well, that looks way, doesn't that look way pinker on there? I think I'm going to go with this. I'm going to grab this color right here. And I'm just going to kind of see how I just filled in that small area where we came down and we went up. And I left that little area right there that looked like it needed some product. That's where I just throw a little blush. Now, yes, that is awful bright. I'm not done. I like to take my big old puffy powder brush. This is the E41 from Morphe. And I just like to blend that in. See, with the contour. There we go. Now you want some pinkness to your cheek. I Actually, I came a little low on that. I just noticed. You want it right there. My mirror is like so far away. You guys don't realize, but when you're filming... When you're filming, you know, the camera's right here and the mirror's way, way back here. And I'm very nearsighted, so it's very difficult for me to do that. But, all right, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, I swear, if, if, if I only had two eyeshadow brushes to use, I would use this E441 and then this other one that does not have a name doesn't have a number and I found out where it came from it is a Morphe brush and it comes from the eye essentials kit and it's basically a fluffy brush that's more you know contoured it's flat like that that's been through it's seen better days 
I wanted a new one, but I couldn't figure out how to order it when I didn't know what it was. And these guys really need to be clean, but there's no product in them. They're just stained. But these two brushes, those are like the, my main brushes. And um, you guys always see me use them. All right, let's see. What are we going to go? Nothing's really like catching my eye. I guess I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this color right here. This kind of taupey kind of color. It seems to be these colors are a lot more, yeah, see they pull a lot pinker in person than they do, you know, on the skin than they do in the pan. Now what I like to do is just start, I like to start kind of working that up. I'll work it in, down in the crease and just kind of work it up. And what I'm doing is trying to pull that eye up and I'm trying to make my crease that's down, down here appear that it's up here because I have very hooded eyes, so I'm trying to make it look like I have more lid space than I do. And how you do that is just kinda, you kinda pull the eye up. You can really trick the eye so much on stuff. There we go. I see a lot of people start with like really super, super light colors, you know, up at the top under the brow bone, but I like to save that for last if I do it, you know. This is going to be a very natural look. I'm not going to go, I'm not going for super, super, you know, crazy color or crazy glam. I'm going for something very wearable. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see me do a glam look from drugstore products. That's one that I haven't done on my channel. I do do that in person. I've done that quite a bit because when I was younger, when I was 20 in my 20s and I would do my makeup, I would do very loud makeup on myself it was like it was either one or the other I did makeup very dark and very sultry and very just colorful or I didn't do makeup at all it was like total extremes with me now I'm gonna go with this other brush the one I don't know the name of and I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna use a whole bunch of colors but I do want to deepen this up I keep looking at this but this is this is so pretty but it's See, it's a shimmer. It's a shimmer, and I don't want to put that in my crease. But I'm wanting something that kind of purpley kind of taupe. Hmm. But then this, well, you know what? Let's try this one here. This is kind of, it's kind of a brown kind of taupe. Let's see what we can do with that. I just want to kind of deepen that up in there and kind of work that into that outer V. See how I'm just kind of knocking that in, making that V? Oh, actually, that's not bad. It's not bad at all, but I do need a better mirror. I need a mirror that's a hot, lot closer, because I can't see. Here we go. Make it where you can see and I can see. That's the hardest thing, because I'm having to, like, pay attention, make sure you guys see, and make sure I see. Now, when you have hooded eyes, I always tell you guys, relax that eye, and you want to make sure, see how I'm coming up on that? Now, somebody without a hooded eye would come in here, and you would lay that color right in there. But see where I laid that? If the eye's not hooded, see how pretty that is? Now, with my eye hooded, you don't see any of that work. You miss so much work. So I relax the eye, and then I go ahead and come up here. And it gives that same, see how it gives that same kind of, kind of look. Uh, it seems like every time I'm on here, I got to go to the grocery store. I, I swear, I, it sounds like I go to the grocery store every day. I don't. I've gotten very funny about meat. Have you guys had a problem with getting um, meat from the grocery store and having it go bad so fast? I've really been having that problem lately. It's like they... Um, It's like they're not really worried about, you know, selling it fresh. I swear, um, one of the stores I went to, I could have sworn that they had changed the date on the meats because there was no freaking way that that meat was fresh. It was even discolored. I won't eat ground beef from the grocery store at all. I'll get it from the butcher, but I don't like to get it from the grocery store. I'm working this under my eye. Now, if you want your eyes to look bigger, that's the easiest way to do it, is you want to smoke that out and just really bring this outer corner. You want to work it in. And see how that really just, that kind of makes your eyes look bigger. There we go. Kind of came a little low. Very pretty. 
I'm really liking this color here. I wasn't See, and I say I'm not going to go like super dark or super, you know, whatnot, and look what I did. Now, a little trick that I've done, and my girls, my girls out there, I know quite a few of you guys have hooded eyes. You guys have mentioned to me having the same issues I do. I don't have any more product on here. I'm just going to dust it off into my June & Co. Um, color switch. If you guys want one of these and you don't want to spend the money, you can DIY one. Um, I should do a video on that because all this is, is you go to Home Depot or Home whatever shop. This is filter. It's like filter material. You can get a can or can get some kind of container to put it in and you're, you're on your way. That's all that is. All right. I got this with no product and all I'm going to do is soften up the outside of that line. Now I'm going to grab, let me go ahead and grab this. I'm going to grab this lightest color right here. Grab a nice amount of that because I want it like caked up in that brush, but I don't want a lot of fallout with it. I'm just gonna light. Yes, I have a lot of product. See how I did one side and then I flipped the brush into the other. That way you don't have to dip back in. You have the product in there. What I'm doing is just kind of softening that edge right there and highlighting the underneath part of my brow bone. Now I'm gonna brush that out again. Now, without picking up any product, I'm just going to kind of work that back and forth. What you're doing is that light color you just put in there, you're actually working that over the edge of that. And see how you're almost coming up with a like a third color where you're blending them together? Now, if you can't get it to soften, do small circles. See how that's softening right up. Now, even though I came way out here, I want that soft. I want that to gradually fade off. I want that to gradually fade off. I don't want to have any defined lines. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to grab my, this is just a little flat, a little flat brush. I don't even think this, this don't have a number either. And I'm going to go into this dark color right here. And I'm just going to, what I'm doing is picking it up on that very end. And I'm going to work that under the lashes. It's hard to see from here. Let me grab my mirror again. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna. My lashes are so freaking long that I lift my lashes and kind of stamp that in underneath there, right up tight against that lash line. You can even kind of get it where you where you're picking it up an angle, so you can get it on the angle of that, so it's not on the flat part. It's kind of on the angle, and you come over there and you can kind of stamp that in that way. I like it right on the end though. Same thing on the other side, just stamp that in. I lay it down and I kind of, I'm not moving it, I'm just kind of wiggling the brush, where you just kind of lay it down and kind of wiggle the brush so it like wiggles out the product without blending it off. Now I'm gonna kind of come up into that little area right, see where the, the top fold stops? I'm gonna lay that right at the corner of my eye and right it there. See how I just filled in that little tiny corner just to pull that eye up right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now see, I have kind of a wrinkle there. So it's a little bit more difficult. So you're going to judge it. You're going to lay it down. Don't move your eye. You want it very relaxed. Very relaxed. And you want to sit that down. Lift those lower lashes. And sit that right there. If you feel like it's looking a little low, you can even come a little higher. There we go. Now I open, or now I close my eye, and I match up the end to the top in just one little quick stroke. See how that is? Match, close the eye, match up the end, one quick stroke. There you go. See how that, it made like a little shadow wing right there. Same thing on this side. And the reason why I do it that way is because you wind up with the same, you wind up with the same wing style but it will match that eye shape. But see how that just really pulls that up. Just gives you a little shape to the eye. The whole thing is you wanna enhance. The whole thing with makeup is you wanna enhance what you already have there. So, I need a little flat brush and I cannot find one. Here we go, this is that little, this is a uh, Pro Shader Brush number 18. Uh, I don't even know who this is made by. Oh, I think it's Beach Cosmetics, to be honest with you. All right, now I'm going to grab, I don't want something super shiny, shiny shock, but this one here, let's see what that one is. 
Now that's got a little bit of shimmer. I want a little more. You know what? I'm going to go with this one, I think. No, that's too pink. <laughs> too pink to gold. You know, I'm going to go. Hmm. I am going to go with this. I'm going to go with this one, and I'm just going to tap off into that one just to pick up a little of that yellowness to it. And I'm going to pop that right there. Now, if you have a hard time deciding where to put your corner highlight, which I had a heck of a time deciding that because everybody's eyes are different. Now, I went between these two little colors here. I only went between the yellow just to pick up a little more shimmer and just give it a little yellow tint. Now, the easiest way is, you see where your eye makes that little triangle right there? I lay my brush right there, almost on top of it, and just kind of knock it. See? Like that. Because what you're doing, I'm going to go straight into that yellow color because it's very pretty and it's not that dark. See, you're just highlighting that inner corner of your eye. You don't need to go all crazy with it. You don't need to get it all over. You just want to lay that on top of there. See? That gives you the perfect little highlight right there. You know, a lot of people don't really tell you where to put stuff. Oh, here, put this on your inner corner. Well, where's your inner corner? Where's the best place to put the inner corner highlight? Now, you also can come along, and I like to do this, is go underneath, and you can meet that darker color with your highlight color. So I just drug that right along the, the um, hairline, the lash line. Same thing on this one. I'm just going to drag that right on over. Just a very light 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 bit just to kind of accent that bottom of my eye see that kind of open that that up right there and right here i'm gonna kind of i don't have anything on the lid yet so i want to go ahead and just put a little bit right there i'm not like going crazy with this see i just want to kind of open that eye up a little bit and I'm going to show you a little trick with uh, hooded eyes. This this uh, palette is very nice. And I'm surprised it's not more powdery. I figured it would be a little more powdery than it is. But it's not. It's actually not that bad. Alright. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go in with this color right here. This nude color. Okay. And I'm just going to pop that right on my lid. I'm just going to pat that on my lid. Now, I don't want to go over into this corner where I've darkened it up. I just want to kind of pat that right there. Mainly, I want that right kind of in front. Right there. See how that... Now, see how that just really made it look like I have a, a lid. Now, a lighter... Remember, lighter colors make things come forward and be more noticeable, and darker pull things back. I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right, let me grab this. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. Now, I'm just where we put the yellow. I'm just going to kind of like barely brush it in. And I don't want to mess up that little wing right there. I kind of did right there, but we could touch that up. But the main part I want is right here in the front. See, right there in the front. See how that really just made that eye pop really made that eye pop there. There we go. Now, that last little brush that we just had, where did I put it? That little brush that we did the inner corner highlight with, this one, you can go over that. You can grab a little bit of that white on it. And if you feel like you're not getting it really, you know, even and just kind of around there, you can kind of go over it with this. We are going to go over that brown on the outer corner real quick. We're going to grab that flat brush again, the one we did the um, lower lash line with. Sorry, my, my lights are so bright and I'm so blind. I'm going to grab this flat brush again, dip it into that dark color once more, and I'm just going to lay it down here and run it back. See, I just cleaned that up because I had messed up that little shadow wing. Lay it on there and just drag it back. You're not even really, you're not even doing anything other than just adding a little more product there. There we go. There we go. There. There we go. Now, if you notice, one of my eyes will have a little more in one section than the other, but when you look at them straight ahead, they look the same. Reason why is because I have hooded eyes, and 
I swear, that's like, I'm sorry, I sound like a broken record. Hooded eyes, hooded eyes, hooded eyes. I hate hooded eyes. Not your hooded eyes, I hate my hooded eyes. All right, I'm going to grab my handy dandy Sumatra that I always grab. Actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? I want to put something a little different in my waterline. I always do that. I'm going to grab this. This is Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. And I'm going to throw this in my waterline. I'm going to do one eye and then I'll show you. I'm kind of off camera over here. Kind of show you how that really just kind of helps make that pop. There we go. See how it really kind of help open that eye up a little more? You always want your eyes to look bigger. At least I do. I like I like a nice big open wide eye. What do they say? Bright eyed and bushy tailed? Wide eyed and bushy tailed, whichever it is. There we go. You just throw a little bit of that in and there we go. And um should I use this one or where is my I have found a mascara that I have been really liking and I where is it? Hmm. Great. I misplaced my mascara. I have an itch here. Sorry, guys. I've been scratching it like crazy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead with this here. I have been liking this a lot, and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and purchase the full size. This is the Hourglass That Caution. Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I've been liking this. I've been liking it a lot. It has a very different brush than I'm used to. There's another one I was liking too, but I can't find it. All right. This has a very different, it's kind of a harder uh, brush than I'm used to. There we go. Oh, you know what I've been liking was that Kush. I went back to using that again. That's right. I couldn't remember which one it was, but look at this. I mean, this is so freaking pretty. See the difference? And that's just one coat. I usually only do one or two coats on my eyes. Just because I don't like super, super heavy mascara. And I have such a hard time with it running. Because my eyes water constantly. Especially with everything going on with my eyes right now. I'm probably crazy for even putting that on. But I'm going to go ahead and finish my mascara and I'll be right back. And I'm back. That is, uh, that's actually, well, it's kind of like one and a half coats, but you can see. If you guys know any good, um, drugstore, uh, mascaras, let me know because I haven't really found any that I'm like super, super interested in. Oh goodness, I forgot. I had a blush to try out here and I forgot all about that. And I have a lip product to try out. But, you know. Mm, you know what? I can kind of blend this blush off. There we go. I'm going to kind of... Because I do want to try this. This is Flower Beauty. And the lip product is also from them. So, and I thought these were so cute. Have you seen these little flower pot? The blushes? Is that not adorable? It looks like a rose. And you know me. I love freaking roses. I love flowers. But this is PB1 is the color. That is the color there. I love those like kind of dusty mauve kind of colors. Those are like, those are my jam right there. And I have been liking this brush. This is the Lux. Ooh. I just bent the, I went to wipe it off because I had a bright colored blush on there. As you can tell, I wanted to make sure there was none left. No, there's none left. This is the Luxie uh, 516 Dual Fiber Powder Brush. And I like this for, um, for a blush. Oh, it's pretty. It's very light. Oh, there we go. See? It's very light, and that's one of the things I do like about most drugstore uh, found uh, uh, blushes. God, I can't talk today. It, blushes, it's a, they tend to be fairly, fairly light. That is very pretty. Let me swatch this so you can kind of see. It, it's very pretty. It's a nice mauve kind of color. See that? That's it right there. But it's it's a nice wash of color. And you can blend that out a super, super bunch. So pretty. Without getting real bruisey looking. I hate when they get real, you know, kind of bruisey looking. Not my thing. Uh, one last thing. 
before I do my lips, I do like to take, I don't know, oh, this is an e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. Um, contouring brush. And what I like to do with this is just because I get a little sloppy with, with my contour here, I like to, whatever powder I've used, I like to pick that up right on the end and just kind of, I'm not really baking it, but I'm kind of just cutting that back in. Anything, and also right in here, if you kind of go in right there, see how that lightens up that, it takes that shadow out of it. Plus I've got that little spot right there. And after I do my under eyes, I like to make sure that I don't have any fallout. There we go. I'm just kind of, I use it almost to kind of help highlight the area. There we go. See how that just cut that back in and kind of made it look fresh again? There we go. There we go. That's what I like to do with that. You know, I picked up this contour brush. I must have had this probably, God, a couple of years. And I never really used it. But I always do go over just to make sure I don't have like a glop of blush anywhere. There we go. And before I... Uh, you know what? I don't have... I don't have any highlighter. I don't have any freaking highlighter. I don't even think I have a new highlighter right now. Was there a highlight? Let me, you know what? That's one thing. Um, when you're when you're working kind of on a dime and you don't have a lot of money, a lot of products can be multi-use. And one of them are, oh, I messed that brush up. I love this little brush. This is the um, Morphe 510. I like this for highlight. Make sure to clean that off. Now, um, I like to take an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna brush that off and you can use it for a highlight. There we go, I think I picked you up to, there we go. You wanna make sure it's not too, a too powdery of an eyeshadow. I'm gonna tap into that pink just a tiny bit because I feel like I've got too much yellow so far. See, it's just giving me, it's not like a super, super highlight. It's just giving me kind of a, um, almost like the wet look kind of sheen. I'm gonna take it on my finger. I'm just gonna run that up the nose. I don't go all the way up my nose. I do the tip, I run it right here, and then I run right here at the bridge. I wear glasses, so a lot of times you don't see that part on me. I don't like to super, super highlight my top lip, but I do highlight it lightly. And it's mainly just to get these two little strips right here highlighted. There we go. But I'm going to, let me know what you guys think of this. I have a video that I've thought about doing. I haven't filmed it, but I've like sat down to film it several, 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 several times. And what it is, is, there we go. What it is, is taking the bare minimum amount of products to do my full face and using as many products as I can as multi-purpose. Sorry, I hate foundation on my lips. Like using bronzer as contour and as eyeshadow, you know, and like what I just did with using um, eye, eyeshadow as contour, or as contour, as um, highlighter. Let me know what you guys think of that because what gave me the idea is because many years ago, well, not that many years ago, but you know, when I was, ha I had a lot of trouble with money and at one point I was homeless. I didn't have any makeup and I would literally, <laughs> I used an eyeliner for my eyes. I used it for my lips <laughs> and you know, I just did whatever I could. Um, this is honey, honey nude from, um, from Flower Beauty, and this is a dual product. This is a mix in matte lip duo, and what you get, you get a lip gloss in the bottom, you get a lipstick in the top, and I thought this was a very pretty color. I love these kind of colors. But what I was saying about the video is kind of showing you guys how you can make do with really anything if you, if you want. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there, 
and I try to give back as much as I can. And the reason why I do that, you know, I had a couple people tell me, you know, how they love the fact of, of I've been doing giveaways since like I first started. Um, what I used to try to always do was I was, I would try to always, when I bought myself products, I would always try to buy at least one to give away. And my dream is to ultimately every time that I show a new product on my channel, my dream is to give away one. Like this lipstick, give away one. Like this blush, give away one. Every time I use a product, that's what I've wanted to do. Let's check out this lipstick. Or lip gloss, I'm sorry. The lipstick is very pretty. I'm not big on lipstick. I like liquid lipsticks. Uh, I'm really not big on gloss. Ooh, this is pretty. That is not bad. That is not bad. That is really, really super pretty. And it's very, it's very light. It doesn't feel so heavy. A lot of lipsticks can feel so freaking heavy and so like oily. There we go. That is pretty. Now, you know, oh man, look at, never fails. This is why I do not use lipsticks. Never freaking fails. There went the tip. Now I messed up the tip. Let me see if I can fix it. If I can't, I won't use it anymore. Because I like to, I don't like to use lip liners. I just really don't. Let me see if I can fix this. Sorry guys, I should do this off camera. But see what I did? I just kind of mashed it back because I took a big chunk out of it anyway but yeah that's been my dream is I've always wanted to do that I thought that would be the coolest thing and I, I've yet to hear anybody do that and if any you hear of anybody doing it they took my idea but I mean you see all these people talk about oh I'm gonna have a giveaway well where's your giveaway Where, where's your giveaway huh who won your giveaway whoa and you hear all the time about oh well I enter all these giveaways and I never win I don't enter giveaways anymore, one, because I don't need the stuff, and two, because I don't believe they really give shit away, you know, especially when you see them do these, like, clean outs, when they clean out their room and go through their stuff and clean it out, you see all the crap that they have, there's no way, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, anyway, let's try this, uh, this is that setting spray, it is a dewy glow, and according to what the Tela says, you're supposed to be able to spray this on, and it, and it just makes, oh God, she was right, it stinks, but she said it burned her eyes also, but oh, I got a lot on one side and none on the other, there we go, she said it's supposed to really just help meld the makeup into your skin, and just take up that take away that real makeup-y look and give you a nice, healthy, pretty glow. There we go. What do you think? And that's the finished look. I actually really like this look, guys. I'm really, I'm really impressed. I am super, super impressed with that foundation. I highly suggest that you try that foundation because it just, it really... I can kind of show you a close-up. I don't use any filters or any... God, I have dry skin around my nose. And you can see... I mean, see, I have texture in my skin. My skin's not perfect. I've had people tell me, oh, your skin is so nice. I work very hard to keep my skin even, like, vaguely, vaguely <laughs> decent looking. And, uh... Well, just something just turned off. But, there we go. I work so hard to keep it that way, and it's so, so difficult. Anyway, guys, we have been here for 32 minutes. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, I love you guys dearly, and um, make sure to please give me a thumbs up, and what else? Let me know if there's anything you guys want to, like, see, you want to know. Um, I also, I want to do a Q&A. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. If you don't, if you guys don't have my Instagram, it is Jenny changed her number, written out number, because it wouldn't fit the other way. <laughs> but anyway, have a great day, guys. I love you, and I will see you again soon. Bye.